All right, yo, what's up, everybody? All right, Melvin here, aka Sweaty Gamer Games. Welcome to the live stream, and also welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, YouTube, this is a YouTube channel will focus on games that we play using gyroscope. So pretty much, I'm just gonna show you guys the settings that I use or how I set up gyroscope. So if you guys like playing with your Switch controller or like a PS4 or PS5 DualSense controller, and you guys are using gyroscope to aim and I, and if you guys play Claw 2, it's a bonus. So, um, but mostly for gyroscope, you guys, um, hopefully you guys find this um, this video helpful. Um, let's see, so first thing to do. So right now we are gonna be playing Monster Hunter Rise. So if you guys don't know already yet, you guys can use gyroscope. Oops, give me a second. I think my controller just turned off. So I'm just gonna turn it back on. Give me a second controller is back on there it is okay all right so we are really playing monster hunter rice and i believe gyroscope works really well with this one i'm gonna show you guys the setting that i use using insect light um the main reason why i use gyroscope for this one is when i aim my wire bugs i used to um i pick the left button and i i used the gyroscope a little bit to do like some fine aiming but it's not really a big deal on Monster Hunter Rise, but it is there if you guys need it. Um, they, you can turn it on, on on the Switch version. And then I also use the gyroscope to aim the to aim the Kinsec a little bit as well. Yeah, so that's the main reason why I use gyroscope. And then I use the right stick to do like big camera camera movement. I do play with claw, so it is a little bit easier for me to handle the camera even when I'm in the air. I can make kind of fine adjustments. So, okay, here we go, guys. Let's get started. So, and you guys, in your Steam settings, I'm gonna turn it on right now. You guys see in the Steam settings, if you guys go to your controller. So, you guys will see this screen right here. You just go to Edit Layout. You go to Gyro. And then you do Gyro Behavior as Joystick. That's where you can do it with mouse or anything like that, but I find that gyro works better when you set it as joystick on Monster Hunter Rise. Sometimes it's better on different games. And then you go to the cog. I pretty much, it's up to you guys. You guys can do um, on default as well. It depends on your sensitivity. I've been playing with gyroscope for a while, so I can handle it pretty sensitively and I can control it pretty well. Um, one of the good games to practice it on, which is pretty much the game that is um, that introduced me to the gyroscope is actually Splatoon. So if you guys have a Switch and you guys play Splatoon, that would be a good way to practice gyroscope. Um, because I feel like on Steam, it's a little bit more sensitive and you guys really have to tweak it. But um, on Splatoon, it's really cool, I think. Um, my vertical sensitivity scale is all the way up there. It's got some response curve. Um, I'm still trying to learn exactly. I still need to make um, a kind of... I still kind of have to play around on what exactly those does. But... When I move these around to these numbers, I feel like I have a better control of the gyroscope. Um, enhanced small precision movement. This is really good for fine aiming. So I turn it up a little bit more there. Um, sent to joystick, I put it at right stick. I play with inverted controls. So I turn on inverted controls in game and inverts the camera, but then it messes up the gyroscope. So I turn this on. So when I move the camera up, it will move the um, let me see here. So if I turn the camera up, um, let's see, uh, right now it's not working. Hold on, guys. Sorry, that's a fail, but um, because um, right now it's on the settings. So, um, but later on you guys will see. Rotation, I didn't touch that one. Everything else, the moving threshold is normal. Um, joystick alpha, these are all default now. And for the gyro alpha scale, um, I turned this up a little bit more. I get, I played around with um, what I can handle. Um, gyro enable button. Here we go. So for gyro enable button, I put left trigger. So every time I use the wire bug button, the gyroscope will turn on. So some games, I always have gyroscope on for hip firing. But for Monster Hunter Rise, I only turn on a certain time, which is aiming the Kinsec and aiming the wire bug. Button behavior, so on. See, you can either do off, it turn it will always be on and then turn it off. But I always have it. I, I will turn it on. What's that? Jonesy, what's up buddy? How you doing man? Um, but anyways, okay, so for gyro steering axis, yaw and roll, I never really understand what yaw and roll is. Maybe someone in the comment section can explain that a little bit better than I can, but I just leave it at that. 
jaw contribution con um, and roll contribution, 100% leave that alone. Trigger dampening, I should leave that alone. Haptic intensity. Yep. So, so far that's the settings I have. And then we're going to go back to that. Go back. Back. Go back. Oh, also, since I am doing... Um, I'm having two buttons turn on gyroscope, so I have a gyro mode shift, just joystick as joystick, and then right there. So there's a mode shift button for the right bumper. In order for me to do that, um, I go to buttons. I use the right button right there. So the right button will also do a joy uh, mode shift, which is that one. Um, uh, oh, uh, just to mode shift gyroscope and then you gyro and then on the mode shift this is what's going to happen when you press the right bumper i use the right bumper to aim the kinsack so again as joystick and then you'll see your mode shift button is got the right bumper everything else is pretty much the same inverted axis and all that stuff right bumper button there will turn it on there's steering axis i put it as y'all sure i mean so far it's working so i didn't want to change it anymore so there you go so that's a setting um if i miss anything let the comment below if you guys try it out if you guys have any questions um let me play around with settings um but i'll play around with the settings and try to answer you guys' question i am i mean i've been using gyroscope for a while but when it comes to settings i just all like pretty much turned on all right guys we're gonna go um into the training mode this is how the gyroscope works so if i use if i press my left button so aiming i aim with using the gyroscope for the wire bug so it is a little sensitive it, you might be dizzying in the beginning but once you get used to it it's actually not that bad and then when i press the right button which is my kinsec button i aim it I, the gyroscope also turns on no. but then the thing though is like it's still even with the gyros on it works in conjunction with your right stick so there's a lot of like freedom and then you can actually and since i play claw i can you know handle I can handle the the camera while we move. All right, there you go, guys. So, um, hopefully that helps for you guys. Um, click on the like button, and then um, if you guys like the video, find it helpful, so it would be shared with others, and the algorithm would find it. And click the subscribe button if you guys want to um, like you know see any of the games that I play using gyroscope. That's gonna be the focus of the channel, you guys. Um, every time I play a third person game, I have Vanquish planned, I have Gears of War 5, Halo Infinite, Resident Evils, um, Outriders, all those games. So when I play them, I'm going to show the settings and then I'll upload it on YouTube. So if you guys want to play that one. Also, we are on the live stream right now on Twitch. We might be going into YouTube eventually. I don't know. Um, oh, no. Not very pro. Um, if you guys do subscribe, please leave it in the comment section that you guys subscribe so that I can personally thank you and respond to you so all right that's it you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay and hopefully this helps peace guys all right